Hello everybody and welcome back to Aurora 4X. I have got some Sir Bedian. Um, now it's been a while since uh, my last episodes uh, for people up to date. Um, obviously people in the, in the spooky future um, won't experience the slowdown but here we are. So where we last left off um, we had just defeated some precursors here and we are now um, Sending some salvagers uh, to go and pick through the wreckage. Our carrier group has returned back to Sol successfully and is now... Is it in the middle of overhauling? I don't think it, I don't think so. The maintenance clock's up, but barely run up at all. Um, so I don't think it's worth, really worth overhauling at this stage. Um, Hunt Group Alpha probably should go back into the task group, though. Um, carry group alpha joiner. Okay. Um, and we got some armies running around, but oh, well. <laughs> all right. Um, so <clears throat> I'm not going to dally too long because there's uh, stuff to do and nowhere near enough time to do it in. So. Let's run the clock. <clears throat> yep, the finished orders, sure. Processing. Okay, um... Ah, oh, we're running some espionage. Okay, we're getting some espionage skill. Successful espionage. Gravitational survey data for the Southport system. Now, we already have uh, somebody in Southport at the moment. Uh, who's in Southport right now? Do we have anybody doing surveys? No, that's the army. That's our army transport group. Okay, <clears throat> so we've got grab survey data done. Uh, how many jump points do we have in here? We've got jump point four. We've got three, four jump points in total. Uh, jump points, jump points. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Yep, so we've got four in total. Um, they've, got, they've got a gate on one of them. Unexplored two. So we've got three jump points to explore out of here uh, when we... Uh, get around to it. Yeah, four. Okay. Next cycle. Let's go. <clears throat> we got about 40 days before a salvage team arrives in system. Oh, and uh, while I've been out of commission, I have made a new uh, calculator sheet uh, for anybody running. If you're on Discord, you would have, uh, uh, you probably might have seen it. If you're not, well, you might not have. Um, it, it, uh, so a lot of people have trouble ma balancing their mineral budget. So I made a sheet that will help you balance the mineral budget for a single planet, and here it is. Um, <clears throat> so basically, you put in your construction rate, how much fuel you produce per year, and what your actual building, your rate, and the and the capacity that you're putting in. Basically, everything that you get out of here. So you can see that it basically mimics the information you've got here. So <clears throat> project remaining percent capacity, project amount total amount percent capacity, and total construction rate, which is this. Uh, and your annual fuel production, which is there. And it will automatically spit out exactly how much of each mineral type you're using per year. And the reason why I chose year is because then you can go to mining and you can balance it against your actual production budget. Now, 
uh, there are a lot of gaps in it. Uh, it doesn't do a lot of stuff. Um, you can put in um, non-installation stuff in here so you can build a specific components if you want to pre-build uh, components for your ships, um, especially expensive ones. Um, you'll notice that there's no galasite column on the in 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 installations. Be that's because there's no installation that requires galasite. Anyway, uh, useful little tool if you're uh, if you need that. Okay, <clears throat> um, that turns done. Yeah, only three days. No production cycle. We're gonna run for another, another one. We do have a lot of wrecks in this system over here that we will eventually want to uh, loot. <clears throat> uh, only four hours. Okay, run another one clock further. Uh, why are my asteroids showing? I think I, I turned asteroids on for something in the meantime, and I forget why. I'll turn them off in a sec once it turns processing. Okay, it looks like we might get a full turn this time. No, still process. Here we go. Okay. Uh, research complete. Turret tracking gear. Excellent. That's going to make our uh, point defense guns more efficient and effective. Uh, research started. X-ray laser on Melbourne. Fine. We will keep going that. Okay, uh, display, 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 mineral uh, colonies only, please. Okay, uh, we don't really care about Southport at the moment. We are wanting to pay attention to Fremantle. Yes, Fremantle. Okay, keep running. Four-day process, four-day turn. Didn't get a production cycle. We'll run it further. <clears throat> so, unfortunately, at this stage, uh, being almost seventy years in, we are definitely starting to run into some slowdown issues. Um, if you compare episode one to to this one. Um, it, the time frame is definitely, um, very obvious, uh, with what, almost like two minute turns for a five day turn. Um, and of course, at the end of the day, Aurora really doesn't care because it'll, t it'll process your turn eventually, regardless of how long it takes. Um, morale increase, communication, yeah, don't care. <clears throat> Keep on going. Let's get that salvager in system. Now, remind me, are we actually digging up... Uh, which one of these colonies are we digging up? Was it Fremantle or Ipswich? We are digging up Ipswich. We do have... No, we don't have anybody on site at the moment. Right, we're sending people on site. Where is it army transport too? No, it's army group two. These guys are getting transported. What's the ETA on that? Six days. Okay, that's fine. <clears throat> Still, still processing. Another sixteen hour turn. All right, keep going.
thankfully, um, the ma when, you, when you mouse over it, you do get the uh, the uh, Windows thinking icon, mouse icon. Um, mine has a little spinning donut. Um, yours might have the hourglass. So at least you know that it's still actually working. Um, nothing new. Let's keep going. Still can't decide whether to actually make a dedicated uh, freighter, a uh, dedicated tanker though. Like, the Calabax really come in useful, but that those jump engines really do take up a lot of space. Okay, new jump point in Geelong, that's fine, keep going. Okay, next turn's done. We got nothing good, nothing new. Okay, um, how far out are we from, that was a three day run. How far out are we? Two days, okay. We're almost there. Our turn, okay. Keep on going. Alexander McKenzie is about halfway done surveying the system as well, so we'll know what kind of jump points we uh, have soon. too far off getting our uh, troops dropped off. Should be about a day and a bit at this stage. <clears throat> Hopefully we can get an actual full production cycle done. Although, it'll, of course, it'll interrupt regardless when it's finished because of the uh, completed orders, but... Ah, uh, well. <clears throat> ah, two days. So, well, like a couple of hours away? An hour. A day. No, that's one day. Okay, we're about a day away. Processing. Okay. Uh, all right. Marco Polo is done surveying. Let's see where is that and where is up to. Uh, there he is. Uh, he's in Ballarat. Okay. So he's just finished queuing up. So let's run graph survey after that. Keep on cycling. I'm probably going to get an interrupt in the next five for the next five minutes uh, for troop drop off. Because that was a one day, four hour cycle and it's only going to be a couple of hours before the tr the um, construction brigades are done, um, are delivered. Two hours. Eh, how, many, how far off are they? An hour. Okay. The one day tick. 
<clears throat> not going to get anything longer than that anyway. And might cut down a little bit on the process income. Thing is, right, um, one thing I've noticed is that it doesn't really make too huge of a difference um, between using, say, I think the cutoff is maybe about the one hour group. Um, anything longer than that, once you get to this stage, they're going to take about the same. The 30 days is going to take a lot longer, but good luck getting a 30 day cycle all the way through. Um, anything shorter, it, there, there's a f noticeable processing time difference. Like a five second turn is going to process significantly faster than a one day, than a one day or a five day turn. But the difference between a one day and a five day turn for processing is basically minimal. Um, but our construction brigades are dropped off, so they're going to start uh, looking through all the loot and digging up some good shit for us. Hopefully we can get some good techs out of it. Definitely looking forward to getting some techs out of it. <clears throat> I'm really looking, I'm really hoping for an advanced laser. Advanced Laser has probably the highest alpha damage in the entire game, bar none. Um, I have never seen... Ooh, one of the five wins is done. Awesome. Um, I've never seen anything hit harder than a max tech, max size uh, spine, advanced spinal laser. Uh, advanced laser. I've, nothing hits that hard. Except maybe a ram from a queen. And even then, it's kind of on par. To be honest, though, I've never actually seen uh, the max tech, uh, max, uh, max tech max size advanced spinal laser actually connect at point blank range. I fired it before at a queen at almost max range because I was trying to stay out of... Um, uh, maze on range, but the drop-off is actually pretty significant um, So it is something you need to keep in mind with lasers because if, even though it hits for Stupid amounts of damage at point-blank range um, At max range there is very significant drop-off even for advanced lasers. Walter Raleigh. What are you up to? Um, completed orders. Oh, right, right. You're uh Refueling, resupplying, and overhauling. Yep. Have we got how much? How much supplies do we have on Australia? Six thousand. Yeah. No, we're fine. <clears throat> okay, uh, well, Gravitational System Survey complete of the Albury system by Yuri. Let's go have a look uh, on our Albury is... Where's Albury? Oh, that's Bunbury. Albury's up here. Okay, so it's only got two jump points, so might as well just send it out that way. Alright, Yuri, where are you? Where are you? You are... There you are. You're at two years, you're golden. Keep going. And do me a geological. Ten-hour cycle. Keep going. <clears throat> so we've run almost ten days since we continue in this episode. <sighs> I think maybe a bit more than that. Well, we'll we'll check where the um, 
We actually should be watching Bendigo, not Fremantle, to be honest. Because Fremantle has just got Alexander McKenzie. Bendigo is where the uh, real action is, because that's where our survey, uh, our um, salvage ships are. <clears throat> oh, found the jump point. Cool. Bendigo. There they are. Jesus, slow. Uh, now, why are they so slow? And, uh, 54 days. No, we are... I oh, know, they're only two days out. Okay, no, they're right there. They're right there. Okay. Right, because Fremantle is the giant colossal system. Wait, no, it's not. Hang on, is it, are they, right, so they were moving from here to here, okay, that's fine, Fremantle, <clears throat> come on, two day turns, two day, two day, two day, two days, two days out, come on through, come on, 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 get in the system so we can start salvage, I want that salvage, I want that salvage, I'm really looking forward to getting some precursor tech. I especially want their ECMs. I so want their ECMs. Because we're only on ECM like three. Um, precursors run at ECM five. Um, so if we can get a couple of their ECMs and ECCMs, uh, that's going to be awesome. Ooh, our asteroid miners are on point at the moment. Let's go. Where are they? Asteroid miner. One here. Uh, system map. So we jump to, there they are. Okay, so around 2004 ZX, where are you? There you are. Right, digging up Galasite. Six, okay, 6.2 years, not bad. Um, we are going to send a Galasite over to Australia. So we've got 4,300, 4, we've got 5,000, so we've got, pl we've got plenty of, um, mass driver capacity. So we basically don't have to worry about, um, a Galasite for the next six years. So that is excellent. Um, especially because we're, we are again going to run out now, not necessarily because stream's almost done. Um, that's going to stop our Galasite consumption, oh, well, uh, except for these things. And then the Lightning Dragon is, of course, expensive in terms of Galasite, just because of its big-ass engines that we have to build manually in the shipyards. Um, Brisbane, you are... And we got 33 million of 0.8, but we got... Yeah, you're not too bad. Okay. Um, let's keep on going. See if we can get the salvage crew on site. It's always nice to have a mineral source end system, though. Obviously, far less vulnerable to um, interference from filthy Xenos. Uh, salvage fleet cannot transit. Why? Uh, okay, we've got a couple more of our wyverns done. Excellent. But um, fighter factor in Ipswich. Cool. But very important. Why? You got a camelback. Camelback like 30 is bigger than a Hall of Mark 4.
Come back 30, 30,000 tons. Ah, no, it won't be. Ah! Two thousand fucking tons. Really? Fuck me. Okay, well, there's nothing we can do about it. Mm. There's literally nothing we can do about it. Two fucking thousand tons. Less. And that's too slow. There's nothing really that we can do about it. Like, there's literally nothing to do about it. We can't get the speed we need for under 30,000 tons. Fucking hell. Thought we had the capacity, but nope. We're not going to get a 40,000 ton jump ship done in time. Shoalwater is still 51 days out from, from completing jump gate on the Ipswich. And then it has to ship all the way to Fremantle, which is 6 billion kilometers, which is going to take fucking forever. And because the jump gate's not actually done, we can't even get out of the system. Fuck! Okay. Guess we're just gonna have to stay here for the next year. Fuck me. All right. Okay. They're just gonna have to stay where they are. I mean, it's wreckage. It, it's not going anywhere. Mm. Grinding in its strength is almost done. Might be able to shift that into something else. Um... Do I have anything queued for Victoria? I don't think so. Um, salvage one to thousand might be worth getting, but I don't think so. Not yet. No, we'll use those labs for something more important. Okay. Oh, well, nothing that can be done. Might as well let's keep going. Actually out of time. Okay. 
it's going to be the last turn. Um, I'll see if I can figure something out. I don't think so. I don't think it's going to be possible, but I'll try and figure something out. Um, I might do some math and see if it's worth bu uh, building a freighter, uh, like a fast freighter, shipping it out here. Um, a fast freighter would actually be useful. It would be useful because having a fast freighter is better than a big freighter when it comes to salvage, right? Because we're, we're not, we're barely using any of the size anyway, and having a couple of fast freighters to ship stuff around quickly might, will be worthwhile. Okay. Last thing I want to talk about um, before we uh, wrap up, because we've got minus 30 seconds left, is I don't think I've actually talked about this, which is save transfer, because I'm recording this as part of a stream, so I'm going to be streaming next, I'm going to be continuing a pro stream. So, um, backing up and, and, say, and uh, loading saves is dead easy. Now, you can do it within the game itself. You can do it within the client, But it's making a new game and putting it there. However, because the slowdown is with the game reading the database, all these saves are in the same database, which means the database gets bigger, which means everything slows down. So if I were to start a new game in this database, it would be slower than a new game in a fresh database. So easy enough. Make sure you're exiting the game so, so, so Aurora hasn't locked it. Um, rename it. Take the one you're loading from, call it Steve Fire MDB, and you're good to go. All right, and that is it from me. So thank you for watching. See you next time, and uh, I don't know, something rather. See you.